Over to James Creedon. How are you, sir? Pretty Starting monarch. off with a, a viral image mm. from the Gilets Jaunes protest on Saturday. That's right. Uh, this was captured uh, near La Place d'Italie in the 13th mm. arrondissement. And I think we have uh, the, 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 the video in question. And what you see is... Uh, there was no provocation going on uh, at this particular moment. Uh, it was a group of people, and he got hit right in the face. Um, and it was caught on camera, and it was quite a violent uh, impact. Do we know what he was hit with? He was hit with a tear, gra tear gas grenade. Now, they're, they're usually meant to be thrown along the ground in order for the tear gas to come out and whatnot. They're not obviously meant to be used as weapons of contact. I think we have an image here. He took uh, that right in the eye, didn't he? Well, he's, he's lost the use of his eye. And oh, that, according no. to oh, some no. calculations, 24 people with serious eye injuries since the beginning of the movement. And, uh, uh, of course, the movement began about a year ago, so that's an aver averaging out at about two people a month. But, of course, it's died down over the last number of months, so there were more concentrated moments. But that You is... shot me with that, because I've not, I've not seen this, James, and you really shot me with that, because yeah. that guy, I mean, there's no political statement here whatsoever. He's there, he's at a protest... He's not disturbing anybody. He suddenly gets this thing fired at his face. It's well, appalling. An investigation has been op opened up by the G IGPN, which is the police of the police, and oh. by the Paris prosecutor's office into that. Because obviously the fact that a certain amount of police brutality has been criticised, notably by the UN, uh, going back to March of last year, Michel Bachelet, uh, the High Commissioner for Human Rights, uh, it, it was denied by the French authorities that excessive force was being used, but flashballs and other military-grade equipment had been used. This wasn't military-grade equipment, this was a tear uh, gas grenade, but it was it was used as a projectile accidentally or otherwise we don't know yet the investigation. I'm sorry, I've, I've, I've already seen this, so I'm, I've millions of questions have come sure. to my head. Chiefly among them, are we sure this was fired by a police officer? That is not, hasn't been ascertained okay. as of okay. yet, okay. Uh, but one would presume that... But presumably the, 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 the canister is there, that, that can be checked, they can right. find it where it comes from so they right. can get back to where the stock came from, for That's instance, it. to do that. Okay, That's so they'll get the person so responsible somehow. the investigation somehow. is okay. underway, Mark, but that is one video uh, going viral and certainly uh, not doing, uh, uh, I suppose, the authorities any favours in terms of depicting... Because uh, I mean, the, the, the phrase "police brutality" is extremely loaded, but if you just set that to one side, just look at the images. It, well, they, they speak for themselves, don't they? It's awful. Right, and I suppose they're meant to be thrown low mm. along the ground. It's not meant to be fired as a kind of a, a, a missile, if you like, mm. uh, as a projectile rather. Uh, so there you go, Mark. That's certainly one video that's been getting a lot of attention in the last 24, 48 hours. Oh wow! Well, you're taking the wind out of my sails completely with that one, James. Sorry, um, yeah, it is. It's okay, well, tough viewing. let's hope that uh, gentleman who's uh, lost the use of his eye mm. is at least making uh, as full a recovery as he possibly can, and let's hope that's the last of the. Uh, people who get injured at these Gilets Jaunes protests. Absolutely. OK, we move on. Uh, an elderly nun yes. who was uh, not allowed a place in a nursing home because of her veil. This is in France, yeah? Now, we'll go back... Exactly. Now you go, It's yeah. Vesoul, made famous by a Jacques Brel song of mm -hmm. the same name. It's near... Um, uh, it's in the south of France somewhere. In any case, uh, going back two months ago, you'll remember that uh, a woman wearing the Muslim headscarf uh, was asked by a far-right politician she was in a local assembly. She was harangued, wasn't she? Harangued. Right, she was yeah. harangued and told to take her veil off. On a school visit, wasn't On a school she? Visit. with her son, yeah. So that kind of put the, 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 the attention back again on the whole issue of uh, not wearing the veil in places uh, in, 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 in places associated with the public, even though in that instance she was entitled to, right? And here, this is in a nursing home, it's in a private space. Mm. Um, you're entitled to wear uh, religious symbols, whether it be uh, a kippah, uh, a nun wearing a veil, that's one but, but she's a nun, she's a nun. She's a nun. And she was coming back to her hometown, uh, was trying to find a place in a local nursing home, and they said, sorry, you can't wear... Uh, uh, visible habit, signs yeah, of yeah. so she's ended up having to live in in isol in in kind of a housing separate. But just very briefly, the mayor has got involved. He said we're going to try to find her a place in that nursing home. And uh, one person for the National Observatory of Secularism said this was not the correct application of secularism laws. Full was stop. the mayor called Alain Chrétien? Yes, he was. was, was yeah. That's good, Alain Chrétien. That's so just maybe, coincidence. Maybe there's a lesson there from that name of that man. Right. Wait, the world's gone bonkers if a nun can't retire in her habit. It's absolutely crazy. Absolutely Twitter crazy. agrees. Oh, what can you say? What can you say? James, you've really, uh, as I say, you know, shaken me up tonight. Thank All you very right, much sir. indeed. James, Thanks, the Media Watch. Thank you.